casualties of uh, well, I had a meeting this morning with Secretary General Solana, and I'm very uh, pleased that there has now been a decision uh, by the NAC which will give an appropriate infrastructure uh, through which NATO uh, can discharge the mandate that, in fact, was given to it in the Security Council resolution, uh, and in, in particular with the passage dealing with support uh, for the tribunal. You will recall that the Security Council demanded full cooperation by all parties, including uh, by the international military presence in Kosovo uh, to the work of the tribunal. There's an opportunity to build in the Balkans something that the region hasn't experienced. I'm very pleased also that today uh, this decision uh, certainly puts in place an acceptable, more than acceptable uh, infrastructure, uh, considerably different, I might add, to the one that was originally put in place to support the tribunal's activity in Bosnia. So the decision uh, by the NAC today uh, uh, takes a considerably more, uh, explicitly considerably more proactive stance in supporting uh, the efforts of the tribunal, including, if need be, on apprehension issues. Uh, it uh, uh, ranks the tasking of tribunal support as a matter of high priority, and to my uh, particular satisfaction, it invites the possibility of re-examining the uh, uh, mandate given to S4 uh, to adopt in this new environment also a more proactive stance uh, in supporting tribunal's activity. I'm very confident that uh, with existing arrest warrants serves, served to all states, freezing orders uh, served to all states against five very high-ranking accused, and every likelihood that more charges against more accused will be forthcoming, that uh, uh, I'm very confident that some of these cases will be tried, but I cannot be very explicit, obviously, about what strategy I would want to put in place to facilitate their apprehension at this stage. And